Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a what I eat in a day. I asked on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see and the consensus was majority vote a Dyson hair tutorial but I had actually Dysoned my hair last night. I don't know why I asked, it was kind of stupid. We have you guys wanted to see a what I eat in a day so we're gonna do that today. I am just sitting looking outside, it's a beautiful sunny day and I'm just having my morning coffee and my juice. I have pre-recorded it because I was just a wee bit too groggy as soon as I made it to put the camera on my face but here we are. I'm obviously not ready. I'm still in my PJs. I just want to put it out there as well that if talking about food and weight and calories and healthy and bad foods and treats is like a trigger for you, don't watch this video. I don't heavily calorie count but it could maybe like trigger you a bit. Um, so if, if it's going to, just don't watch it. I've got plenty of other hauls and you know makeup videos and vlogs and stuff that you could watch i am so sorry if that's really loud i'm gonna close the door i've just made my morning coffee and i'll insert the little clip here of me making it i was too groggy this morning to just like straight away put the camera on my face so i'll insert that now pretty basic nothing fancy i just use this it's what my mum buys i have to have a sweetener because i'm just not a fan of sugar love this cup because it's just like the perfect size and then I normally just do a little pinch extra just for good measure, you know. And then I pop my sweetener in. Put your milk in first because I swear if you don't already do it, please do it. It makes a huge difference. It like makes it creamier. It's not as bitter. Water. Now that I'm sitting enjoying my coffee, I just wanted to kind of run through what a day kind of looks like for me. I might actually film this today and tomorrow to give you a good idea of what my diet is kind of like but as I said I'm not like heavily I don't heavily calorie count I'm just very mindful of it because I've kind of been in diet culture for so long I used to do Slim and World and it did work but I think it's such a toxic environment I don't that's a whole nother story I do try and stick within like 1500 calories a day I used to try and do it probably about a year ago when we were back in work and stick within 1,300 and then I would go to the gym. When the weekends came, I kind of like went off the reels a little bit more and undid everything that I did during the week. So I kind of thought that was a bit pointless. And because there's so many TikToks now about like what I eat in a day and calorie counting, I did increase my calories by a few hundred just to see how that would kind of work. The first thing that I do normally eat is lunch. I know it's bad and I know everyone's recommended to like eat something in the morning, but I, I would literally be forcing myself and getting up in the morning is hard enough without having to like force food down my throat. So nine times out of 10, I will skip breakfast, might have a banana, might have a brioche roll, but I'll always have my coffee and my juice. I always buy snacks that are kind of around the 100 calorie mark. So any crisps that are around 100 calories, if it's like a chocolate bar, I'll do like 120. I'll probably snack on some strawberries soon enough. I have all the stuff still for my Caesar salad. So we're probably gonna make that today. I'm gonna get on with my day. I will catch up with you when we're eating our strawberries or having our salad, whatever we end up doing. And I will see you guys then. Okay, I'm back and yeah, fix my hair up a little bit. It is now quarter past 11. I have this big bowl of strawberries. I'm probably not going to eat all these. I'll probably eat like half. Um, but it's only me that eats them so I'm just going to eat them out of the bowl and then pop them back in the fridge. So I'm going to snack on these. Mm. It's two o'clock now and apart from having probably all worth of like three strawberries um, this morning, like a few bites of my chopped up strawberries, um, I haven't eaten anything else. So I'm going to make my chicken Caesar salad now. As you can hear, that guy is still like doing whatever the fuck he's doing. He's clearly not mowing his grass. It's something a lot more, it's a bigger job than that. But 
I'm gonna sit here with the door open. I'm gonna finish my juice that I didn't have earlier. I'm gonna pop some fresh ice in it. And I literally have no idea what's happening for dinner. I think I'm actually going to the cinema tonight with my dad and Gary to see Fast and Furious. So it could actually end up being that I maybe don't have dinner and I just see popcorn and a bit of chocolate. Who doesn't love that? It is now 10 to five and your girl's getting a little bit peckish. So I have literally think I probably put on a bite eight different outfits today it's just like a nice cotton one with like a tear you know what i mean so i'm wearing this i've been sitting outside for ages i think i'm gonna make a banana milkshake because i have these bananas that are a little bit too brown i had to buy a new blender because that's her just a wee cheap one because my mum threw out my tree billet i think so we can't find it anywhere i made one of these a couple of days ago and it's literally just milk ice and bananas you can obviously put like ice cream and stuff in if you want to you know bulk it up or make it a wee bit sweeter or like more of a treat i don't um and i know obviously the rough calories in a glass of milk and i know the rough calories in a banana the ice is obviously fucking water so it's like quite low you know it's just all blended up and tasty so i'm gonna do that now i got these the other day and normally i don't like like mini cheddar and stuff like that but i'm obsessed with these so i'm probably gonna have a couple of these Did I mention this earlier that Love Island was on? Because I swear, momentarily, I completely forgot. And because I kept ramping on about going to the cinema, I obviously planned to go to the cinema with my dad. It was at eight and I'm sure Love Island started at eight or nine. Obviously I missed it. Um, it's all on catch up just now. We had like a large popcorn between the two of us, but maybe like a quarter of it. So I had that and then I swear I had like five minstrels if even because it was kind of between Gary, my dad and me and I had a medium diet coke so we didn't obviously have dinner. I just made a quick garlic bread, it's on my bed. I am sitting on my bed ready to go and watch Love Island. Not that I had any makeup on but hair is out of the way, gym jams on, feeling comfy and cosy and ready to watch this and I am so excited. Right Please there. step <laughs> morning guys and welcome back so it's obviously the next day in the morning i forgot to film the pouring and the stirring and everything of the coffee but there's my coffee i've just filled my big glass up with water and today i'm just actually gonna have some ice water because i feel like yesterday i really didn't get enough of one of these easy peel oranges just because i am going out i think i mentioned yesterday and that's at half 12 and i don't know if i'll have i obviously won't eat lunch before then because i do eat like through the day later on than normal so breakfast is later lunch is later and dinner is later and then i will catch up with you after when i'm next eating this genuinely is just my favorite little spot like look at that sitting here every morning when the sun's so nice and it's nice and calm outside and at least your man isn't drilling like a madman this morning. I'm going to have one of my little brioche rolls. You can get ones that are quite low in calorie. So this one is, will you say it's really hard to tell because it says per 100 grams. Should we weigh it? Let's weigh it. Times 35. 125 calories. Yum. They're just so good. Yeah, I just fancied a cone of chips. That's your one. Is it? Yep. God, this is not... I would never have thought of this. You are very remarkable. Thing. Thank you. Well, I could thank you because... Mm -mm. You see? Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. And the view up there where they've left the trees and foliage mm -hmm. around. What area is this? This is... Malisle we're back in. Oh, oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, you're just over there in your little cottage. But you probably doesn't look similar because you're far away. It looks different. But you're just up there. But the cottage I'm in now is on the main road. Joined it's up a little lane. That's right. Yeah. Oh, God, you you were so on the main sharp. road. Yeah, you were on the main how, road. How the hell can your brain take all this in? and keep all that's already there as well. Yeah. 
I still feel we're moving this way. Oh, what, what bit of, what beach is this? Is this Malisle Beach? You only live up there? I've no idea. Mind it's you. Just probably because you're far away, it looks a bit different. I love this area. Mm -hmm. I love Malisle. I think I've, would you go away, you seagulls? See, they're annoying after a while. A nice ice cream. Beautiful ice cream, yeah. Lovely. And that's another 20 things I owe you for. Is there anything today you didn't pay for? Your company. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I was with my granny. And she... I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but she has dementia. She wouldn't have noticed the camera really being there. And if she did or would have asked about it, she would have forgotten like within minutes anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I had to go up and see her today. And then I just thought it was such a nice day that I would take her out. And it so happened that we got a chip for lunch. So she had a re fish and chips. I had a cone of chips. I was gonna get like a kid's fish and chips, like a smaller portion, but to be fair, I wasn't overly hungry. And I know that if I didn't eat and she did, it kind of would have maybe confused her a little bit. Um, so it was just better we both ate at the same time. And obviously I'm not going to turn down a chip. So I got us that and then we were literally just right in front of, uh, behind an ice cream van. So naturally we got an ice cream. In certain parts of that clip with my granny, um, I, you know, it might be a bit repetitive and stuff like that. So I just wanted, I just wanted to put it out there that obviously, um, that's the reason why um and yeah we move and we deal with it and yeah that's it so anyway i'm gonna go now and do my little errands and then i will catch up with you guys when it is feta salad making time i'm so excited i've been having the most i'm not naked i have my little top on um the most splendid time outside I've been guzzling a big glass of icy water, which has been a dream. I brought my book out with me to obviously read, but I've just sat there with my eyes closed listening to music and it's just been dreamy. But I'm gonna make my salad now just so it's ready for later. Um, so I'm gonna show you all my ingredients and then we're gonna whip it up. And honestly, it's delicious. If you're kind of bored of like just basic salad ideas, get yourself some feta, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, drizzle and with the rest of the bits that I show you and it is a dream so let's get started on that I'm probably going to use the rest of this maybe a little bit of this this is the feta um great style salad cheese the same thing that I got it's like the healthier one lower calories I'm going to use the rest of my little tomatoes I have hardly any olives but only because I can't be bothered opening up a new jar so I'll cut them up finely the onions that are featured heavily in this what I eat in a day um, I'm going to put a good black cucumber in, some croutons and then this is the olive oil and the balsamic vinegar which is just a dream come true. So we're going to put all this in there. Time moves on, she's drifting away, drifting away from me, but did the ocean So here she is, how fucking nice does that look? Okay, so it's actually only half five. I probably made my salad like half an hour, 40 minutes ago, and I am fucking starving. So I'm going to eat half of it and have a little wrap, kind of make it into like a bit of a salad burrito type thing. <laughs> I am just toasting my wrap on top of that. These are the wraps that I am using. We just keep these in the freezer because like, I would need a whole pack of wraps like in one go. 91 calories per one, so they're fab because they're mini. You can get the Weight Watchers ones, which obviously are um, low too. Um, but yeah, I'm just toasting that little guy there. I'm going to have some of my salad and then I'll probably finish the rest of it later because I can't eat dinner early. Else I will be ravenous. Is that the word? Ravenous? In the middle of the night. Like I would just be way too hungry. So um, not that I like try to eat late late, but... I don't normally eat at half five, you know, quarter to six, that's a bit too early for me. I stopped at the shop and I just got a bag of onion rings because they're like the lowest calorie crisps ever and I actually fucking love them. So I'm gonna have a little bowl of these and then I got this. I've never actually had one of these before. I presume it's just dairy milk caramel and I really wanted the mint crisp one and I probably actually should have just got it, but 
this one was the lowest calorie so for half the bar it is 115 so for the whole bar it's 230 which isn't bad for a nice big hunk of chocolate and they are probably like not even 50 calories i'd say i've got my tea and my snacks and love island so it's gonna be a perfect little night to myself so yeah that is going to wrap up the end of the video guys i hope you did enjoy i know we're all nosy nebs and we just love knowing what other people eat so i hope you enjoyed if you did please give the video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you want anything else along the lines of this and i will see you guys next time bye so i've paused love island to tell this really quickly this caramello is stinking. It's so vile. I don't know what this is. It's not just caramel. It tastes like coconut or something too. And I like coconut, but that is not nice. I'm not eating that. It is vile. So heads up, never get a caramel.